I am with SurPro of Northwest Genesee County, Fenton, uh, Lapeer, and Grand Blanc. So basically all of uh, Lapeer County and all of Genesee County. And I am the Director of Business Development. We uh, do all of uh, the marketing for, for mostly commercial accounts for uh, SurPro. So we establish relationships before something happens. And also commercial buildings typically have carpet cleaning that they'd like to have done, you know, not necessarily weekly, we're not really janitorial, but um, we, we, we'll do like the, the really deep cleans that need to happen once, twice, up, up to four times a year. Excellent. Some of the knowledge that I gained from working for the chemical company and now working uh, in the restoration industry, uh, I've, I've kind of developed a chemical, and the chemical I think is really kind of, I don't want to use the word revolutionary, but I, I think it'll be very advantageous for the restoration industry. And uh, my burning desire is to, to make that a, a product and to make it a large product for research. Uh, my key to success um, for me is just remaining focused on the goals that I have. I set really ridiculous, outlandish goals for myself, but I leave myself constant reminders and um, stay focused on the really large goals and there's little ones that pop up in between, but that's been fun. Surpro, uh, things are a little bit different than kind of your average restoration company or cleaning company. Um, kind of the, the reasons why why we kind of stand out um, is this idea that we're we're locally owned, so they're, they're all franchised um, and nationally known. So there's kind of a, a step. There's there's a how we do things is done the same way all the way across the board, and it's kind of proven to be the right way to do things. Uh, SurPro has something that I think is really important called 148 that we, we try to focus on big time. Um, 148 is within one hour of SurPro receiving uh, the notice that there was a loss, we're going to contact you and let you know that uh, we're on our way and schedule somebody to come out and, and start the, the process of getting you back to normal. Um, four hours um, receiving the loss, we, we'll, we, we, um, we dedicate ourselves to being on site and start uh, mitigation services. Because mitigation, we know that pulling the water out, that's what mitigation is, is, is removing the, typically 99% the of the time is removing the water. So when we remove the, the water, we can do that right away because everyone should have insurance and, and that needs to be done, that's first and foremost. Uh, within eight hours of us being uh, on site, there'll be a preliminary report of the loss um, that we report back to the, um, the appropriate person. So. The, the most important person in this whole thing that we need to report to is the insurance adjuster. Um, we hear people talk about insurance, you know, we have a few insurance agents here. A lot of agents, um, like I know a lot of the agents here are, are very personal with all their customers and they like to be included in, in the loss process too. Uh, the adjuster is the person that goes out and assesses the damage with us. Uh, another thing that SurPro is really, really um, kind of passionate about and something that kind of separates us from a lot of other cleaning companies is the idea behind restoring versus replacing. Now, insurance companies love this about us and that's why we, we get a lot of calls from insurance agents uh, is, is because um, we can restore a lot of things that the others can't. So typically in an insurance claim, everybody wants everything replaced. And, and actually it sounds pretty good. If you had a fire in your house, and insurance is ready to cut you a check for you know money for you to buy a whole new wardrobe it sounds great to go buy all new clothes but in reality your house is burned the last thing you want to go do is go shopping to find new clothes so we have um, a lot of different ways we have a lot of different chemicals and solutions to restore things rather than replacing them which is really important for your photos too because insurance can't cut a check for new photos no. from, from and, and we can do a lot of photo restoration and, and document restoration and as well as you know furniture that may have been passed down from other people I, I see it more often than I thought I would thing with my portion of SurPro is making sure that when a loss happens at a commercial building I want to get them open as quickly as possible because I understand that it's not just about getting that job done and on to the next one it's about getting people back to work um, and, and getting the business back up and running. Fire damage is, is very different, or uh, is, is very similar as well. Uh, we do offer board up and tarp services, which um, 
when a building has a fire, the the fire department is there, and sometimes the fire department actually reaches out to us, and sometimes it's the homeowner, the business owner, that asks us to do a board up service, which we do 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, it's basically taking big sheets of board or, or actual tarp and securing the building so that no one can get in, and you know, especially if there was an investigation, because there's typically always an investigation after one. I am also what's called um, an emergency responder or a priority responder. So my phone is available all the time, and instead of calling the 1-800 number and having it forwarded to our office, which then has to be picked up by somebody else or an answering service and then forwarded to us, you can get a hold of me directly, and I have the ability to dispatch employees. Um, I'm really new to the area, like I, I talked about it this morning as well. I, I just moved to Genesee County in April, so it's been a little bit of an uphill battle for me to, you know, create the relationships. That's why BNI has been really important to me, is because this really does help me create relationships, and those relationships have helped me get additional re uh, relationships. So I'm, I'm always looking for, I want to be specific, but at the same time, I, I, I'm always looking to help keep people safe and, and try to prevent those damages from happening and also limiting the amount of damage that happens uh, when something, because it's inevitable that something will happen to a building or, or to a home. I want to help prevent those as much as possible. I really want to build relationships with, uh, with commercial buildings in the area. Um, my, my second ask is, is really for referrals. If you hear of somebody having an issue um, with with uh, a damage claim, like I said, we we're always on we're on the, the everyone's team. We want we kind of I feel like can become a mediator. We, we tend to mediate a lot with the insurance company and the homeowner because sometimes the insurance company may not understand that this is the way that something has to happen, and sometimes it's the the homeowner or the business owner that doesn't understand how how things work. And I feel like we're really good at mediating and and talking to and making the, the whole situation much easier.